my interest, of course, is how do we raise money? Uh, <laughs> you know, that's, yeah. that's a, the, the ministry's you know, primary interest, right? Uh, hopefully it's secondary to getting the gospel out, but um, it's, it is up there uh, towards the top of the priorities. Uh, you guys are with uh, Child Evangelism Fellowship. I'm very familiar with it, actually. Oh, uh, yeah. Got all your flyers right here in front of me. Oh, there you go. My family serves in our local CEF here at Cookville, and we do five day clubs in our backyard during the summer. I have 10 kids. So, um, you have 10 kids? Yeah. Bless you. <laughs> so, um, my <laughs> oldest <laughs> kids are are actively involved in our local CEF. And, um, and so I'm very familiar with the organization. Uh, it's actually not too much different than Cruise Focus. Uh, their yeah. focus is on spreading the gospel at college campuses. And you guys are focused on, you know, the schools or the, um, you know, the, the kids. So elementary school age children. And I'm really excited that you have an annual gala coming up in October because we have a mentorship program. That's probably where you're hearing a lot of emails. We're sending out a lot of emails these days, um, trying to get people uh, to consider the mentorship program. So we do we do it twice a year. Uh, we do one in the in the spring that prepares people for a fall gala, and then we do another one in the fall that prepares people for a spring gala. And so the next class is starting May 6th. And so this is kind of the final couple of weeks where we're doing a, a final big push, you know, for the next uh, program. And I've actually got, uh, let's see, about three CEFs on board for oh, this wow. um, okay. for this class so far. I've got another one, two, three, about eight that are getting approval. So there's a chance that we might have about 10 CEFs if they all come through. And I'd love to add you to the list. But uh what's the commitment? So it's a it's a 20 week program. Okay. Um, so the where so let me just back up a bit. Yeah. So I've been um working in the nonprofit space for about 25 years or so. Well, I graduated from Moody Bible Institute, first of all, uh, in 90 in 2001. Okay. Um, so I'm a Moody grad. Felt called into ministry, uh, but not necessarily to be a pastor, but more uh, to help organizations from a port of role. Early on, I was helping out more with radio, um, doing like a radio production um, and at a church and did that for about 10 years or so. Uh, and then transitioned to a counseling ministry in the Chicago area um, and served with them for about five years. Um, and during that 15 year period, I kind of experienced a lot of galas and was put in charge of a bunch of them myself. Uh, the biggest one that I was tasked with managing was about a 700 person dinner way back. And basically back then that was like before a lot of web-based software existed. And so we were using Excel documents and you know, post-it notes and stuff like that. And so um, my, the director at the time, you know, asked, he wanted to have online registration, which was kind of a cutting edge thing. And so I started, you know, building an online registration kind of little thing. And the, the big catalyst was I met a man named Jim Dempsey, who's now my partner uh, at Fundraising Masterminds. Um, he works with Crew uh, Campus Crusade, and he does a lot of um, dinner training at crew uh, across, you know, crew headquarters. And he was doing some dinner training with our director uh, at the place I was working at. And our director was showing him some of the software that we had. And Jim's reaction was, uh, wow, we could really use that at crew. So, <laughs> so that ended up um, getting him excited. And we started working together. That was back in like 2005. Um, anyways, that kind of launched a 20 year change in my career. Cause in 2006, I ended up starting a software company, which was originally called ministry sync. Uh, it's not called that anymore. It's called fund easy now. 
Um, but this software company basically, um, basically crew was our first customer. Uh, they do about 300 of these events a year, uh, and they needed something to, you know, to manage them all. So we built it for crew originally, and then we started marketing it to other places and found that pregnancy centers also do, um, a lot of gala type events. So. We ended up tapping into pregnancy centers, ended up tapping into other places. Long story short, here we are 20 years later, we've served over 5,000 organizations across the country and have helped raise over a billion dollars for the kingdom <laughs> through, through this program. Uh, we've also, you know, expanded into other, other things, uh, such as like walk walks and bike thons and things like that. Um, so. Anyways, that's the software side of things. And that's kind of running on its own now. I've since um, the last couple of years worked myself out of that job on purpose because I wanted to get more into the coaching side of things, uh, which is what brings us to fundraising masterminds. Because what I've noticed over the 20 year period and Jim and I have now, Jim is now the chief development officer at Crew, So he's gone up the ranks um, and he is now over the whole U.S. ministry's arm uh, at Crew. Uh, that's not where he was when I met him, but he was, he's was he been promoted several times. And so now he's in charge of all of the development efforts at Campus Crusade um, and his budget responsibilities is like $750 million per year. So, so Jim and I have had a lot of conversations over the last 20 years because we've been working together a long time which is essentially, you know, I've, I've, I've had the opportunity to observe a lot of ways that people do events because we've helped so many. And then I've seen how crew does events and I've always just wondered, what are you guys doing different? Cause crew events tend to raise like vastly more than the average. Um, and, and I got to see the average cause I see all the data. Uh, and that's a unique perspective that I had. Uh, and so when we started getting into this more deeply, I realized that it's actually um, the software itself. People would kind of treat the software like it's going to do all the work for them. <laughs> but what Jim kind of helped me realize is that, you know, a lot of what makes crew events super successful is the strategy and the actual like program and the presentation uh, at the actual events. They do a very unique and uh, specific type of program that they developed over uh, like a 40 year period. Um, and Jim was, is a big piece of why those events run the certain way. Long story short, uh, when COVID happened and Jim's schedule blew up and my schedule blew up, that we took that opportunity um, because we both had some time to film what we call the fun, the Perfect Vision Dinner Mentorship Program. So we we took uh, all of Jim's knowledge of how he he's done over 2,500 vision dinners at Crew. We've taken all that knowledge from him, and then we've taken all the knowledge that I've had learned from you know, helping 5,000 organizations and we put it together in this course. Uh, so this course is, it's called the perfect vision dinner, which we believe, you know, we've come across the, you know, there's different methodologies for how to do a gala. And we believe that this is the best um, methodology, you know, specifically for Christian organizations. So we started this program about two years ago. And we've got, you know, a good handful of dinners that have gone through the program. Obviously, before that, you know, we've got hundreds that we were going off of. But now that we've got the program going, um, we've got a lot. So I wanted to kind of show you some numbers because I like numbers and they kind of help. I like numbers too. These are the organizations that we helped um, last fall. You can see here uh, where they were previously at before joining the program. You know, this uh, pregnancy center was raising about 70,000. Uh, this one was at 89. This one was at 70. This one was at 300. 
Um, this one was at 10,000. This one was at 62. This one was at 60. And uh, when they joined the program, we were challenging them to have this goal. So we kind of, what we do is we evaluate kind of where they're at. And then we say, okay, based on where you're at, you know, if we tweak some things and we do the program right, um, then I think you could actually be here. What we've noticed is that most people of where they're at from where we think they can be, it's about double, um, you know, so uh, the 70, we were challenging them to hit 150. Anyways, this is this middle number here is what they actually raised. Um, and so you can see here that, you know, their goal was 150. They actually raised 181. Um, this one, you know, blew past their goal a little bit. This one didn't quite hit their goal, but this was, they were fine with that. <laughs> um, this one, you know, we exceeded their goal. This one didn't quite hit their goal, which, you know, they were probably the worst dinner we did last fall. And then um, this one did really well as well. They went from 60 to 182. So then coming into this spring, uh, these are all the um, these are all the organizations we're helping right now. And most of their dinners are coming up in the next couple of weeks or so. Um, but we do have a few that are have finished. Um, mostly, you know this. Um, this pregnancy center, you know, they were averaging around 200,000 um, for their annual dinner and they wanted to get up to 300. Uh, they didn't know how to do that. So we recommended splitting it into two, uh, doing a Friday night and a Saturday night, which they did. And so combined, you know, they ended up raising their goal was 350. They ended up getting 365. Uh, so they did really well with that. Um, this is a Christian school that just, um, these two just did their dinner last Friday. Um, so their goal was 160. They went up to, um, they did really well. They, they got up to 345. Um, this one was a brand new school. Uh, so they were just second year. And so they had tried to do a dinner on their own and total flop they raised ten thousand uh we came in and said you know hundred thousand is our kind of baseline minimum uh for people who join the program so he said we're gonna get you to a hundred they were that was like amazing for them and we got them to 169. so when when um so these are our numbers that in more of a pretty format same numbers um this is just our website a hundred thousand is kind of our minimum goal for anyone joining the program. That's really our baseline minimum. And if you notice, if you look at these charts, you can see like our, if you look at like the goal column, except for this anomaly on line 11, uh, every, every single goal is a hundred thousand or more. Right. So we're either telling people the baseline goal, you know, for any organization, we're saying we're going to raise a hundred thousand for you. Um, if they're if they're coming in, they're saying, "Hey, we already raised two hundred thousand. You know, then we're looking at well, how can we get you to the next level? Um, but you guys aren't there yet. You're at the thirty thousand mark, which is perfect because I would say, well, we'd want to get you up to a hundred thousand. You would be in one of these camps. I don't want so, that. Go ahead. I would, I want to get to a hundred thousand too as well yeah yeah so i mean that's that's essentially uh our goal you know in joining the program so we it's a 20-week mentorship program so it's starting pretty soon so i i know you probably need to get like board approval and mo yeah. i most mostly have to fight with boards you know about spending money um but i tell them you know hey if we're gonna increase you from 30 to 100 that should be a no brainer. So essentially what the program is, is um, we walk you through all the steps in planning the perfect vision dinner, the way that crew does it. Um, so it's Jim is leading the program. So Jim, uh, I'm more like the co-host, you know, I'm, I'm the guy that's supporting 
you know, the business side and things like that. But Jim is the the main trainer. So you're you're getting access to the chief development officer at Crew for 20 weeks. We do let me just share my screen here on like what's all included. What's included in this program is um, basically 20 weeks of in-depth video content that we've Jim and I filmed together. Uh, and this is where we're explaining the model and all the steps. There's 239 steps that need to be done and it's all structured in this 20 week time frame. Wow. Um, we actually kind of count down. So this is the actual course inside and you can see, you know, we start with an introduction. Then we have like 20 weeks before, 19 weeks before, 18 weeks before. So we kind of like count down, you know, the days until we get to your actual week of dinner. So we kind of give you all the, the outline there. Then we have a printed workbook, which looks like this. Um, so the workbook is kind of professionally designed and bound. And basically that's there to help guide you through uh, as you're watching the videos, you're going to be, you know, writing things down and doing some assignments. But what really makes this program unique is that we actually have 20 live coaching calls with Jim and I every week. And so this is the big, uh, this is what I think makes it successful. <laughs> Uh, I, th I think if most people just signed up for a video course and we sent them a workbook, they'd probably get overwhelmed and, you know, do half of it and then life would be busy. And so the fact that we, Jim and I actually meet on a regular basis with you, you know, we have essentially, like I said, the program starts May 6th. So our first coaching call is May 6th. And what we do is we do an hour long coaching session where we, you know, share what you need to do for the week. And then essentially, you know, you're, we open up a week of video content. And so the video content supports kind of what we are talking about, you know, in the coaching calls. But as we get further and further along, we're actually going to be very much engaged with the process. So we're going to review some of the assignments. We're going to assign you work to be done. We're going to review those. And in some cases, we might even get involved. Early on in the process, we do what's called a name storming session with your board. And a lot of times, you know, Jim, Jim will, will host that. Essentially, you get two free private calls uh, as part of this with Jim. So, you know, a lot of times people will use a private call for the, the name storming session because they want Jim to, to do the name storming. Uh, or lead it. And then a lot of times people will use the second private call for like um, the crafting the appeal towards the end of the program. <laughs> Essentially what we do is we walk you through the whole process. This is, this is the curriculum um, kind of week by week, you know, so the introduction is a lot of mindset, like what it is, what it isn't. Um, then we get into, you know, why we don't, um, do certain things like we don't charge tickets. We don't do corporate sponsors. We don't sell tables. We don't do auctions. Um, we talk about why that doesn't work very well in getting partners. Um, and basically we teach you how to make the gala a development event because Jim's mindset is that this is not, it is a fundraiser, but he's more focus on trying to help you raise long-term partners um, that will be around after the dinner's over and not just have this be like, let's just raise a lot of money and move on. Um, so it's more focused on all this stuff is focused on what is development? Um, how does development work in the context of a dinner? Uh, so it's very much the crew mindset of how crew approaches events. Um, then you can see within the first, within the, um, the third week, we're doing a name storming partner, uh, party with your board. And then from there, we start recruiting your team. We have four key roles that we're going to teach you about. And those four key people can be volunteers or they can be, um, mostly volunteers. Um, but they, those four key people are going to run a lot of the heavy lifting for your dinner. And we have all the, um, 
we we get you the software you need we get you the um all the the templates and the the letters and everything that you're going to need uh has been done for you so we have all that done um and then as we um start recruiting and getting things moving uh we move into the second half of the program after independence day which is essentially you know crafting the actual program itself so jim is really what one thing that's really really helped um people under uh, get to the next level is having a compelling vision um and what we've found is that when you present a very compelling vision to people in the right way uh well first of all you got to have the right people there um and second of all you got to have the right vision and you have to present it in a way that makes sense to those people um, but if you do all those things correctly then people respond they get very excited and they they respond very well and that's the num those are the numbers that we're seeing um is how people respond to a compelling vision and so we help you craft your vision we help you create the appeal we help you create the program and the testimonies and all the things that need to be done uh to you to make you successful and then so, so what's it going to cost me so the cost is five thousand um, dollars okay. there's three ways that you can pay for that it's you can do a, an upfront payment which is just the cheapest value a lot of people like the monthly option the course runs um sorry from may 6th to uh end of september right so basically you're only paying about five months of four monthly payments so it's about twenty two hundred dollars you're paying about half you know before your dinner and then you're paying the other half after the dinner so a lot of people like that we do have a third option which isn't on here which is essentially if you have no money at all and you are really wanting to take it but you want to be billed at the end uh, we do have the option to be billed at the end but you have to apply for a hardship application and then you have to get that approved um jim has to approve it and yeah, stuff I, like that well, but i'm very impressed with the structure certainly um and your processes here and of course with, you know knowing that uh, what kind of money that uh, a crew raises uh, you know i'm learning from the best so what is the um sign up process here i'll send you this link this is just on our website all this all this stuff i showed you is just on our website you just click and roll now but i'll i'll send you the link um yeah. all you do is you just click the whatever option you want to pay and you just sign up um okay. but a lot of times you know people need to talk to their board or whatever so we we did prepare this like board meeting executive summary which is a PDF that you can print out and it basically just summarizes everything we talked to uh, has kind of the course outline and the starting point ending point. Um, I have some of the numbers that we went over uh, in here as well as some video testimonies of people who have gone through it. We have some references that you can call if you want to talk to past students and then I have the the payment information that I went over uh, with you uh, on here. So. Um, I'll send this to you in an email and if you want to pass that around to your board or or whatever that's fine um, but if you're ready to just sign up then I'll just you just go to our website and click enroll and then you just select whatever you want but I'll send you that in an email as well too great thank you <laughs> uh, you know I, I think this is an answer to, to prayer uh, I don't want to be doing all this on my, on my own we did it in 2022 I've I've run some I've learned large events in the past, uh, but galas are different, um, yeah. and I want to do this one well. Um, so, um, thank you for your time, brother. Uh, yeah, it's just, been fun, and I think we'll be on that uh, May May sixth call. <laughs>